Hey, hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So, in this video, I am going to share a news about an exciting data thun for all ML enthusiasts in India. So, Indo ML 2023 is here. So, after successfully completing the last three editions, the fourth edition of Indian Symposium on Machine Learning or Indo ML 2023 is here and it will be held at IIT Bombay this year between 24th to 23rd December. Like previous years, this symposium aims to be the forum to discuss about state-of-the-art machine learning methods and approaches through different invited talks given by leading experts within India and abroad. IndoML fosters mentoring Indian PhD and master students to build network among their peers, to seek expert guidance and to develop early stage collaboration. Now in conjunction with this symposium, this year also one datathon will be held for the ML enthusiast in India that is datathon at the rate Indo ML 2023 and in this video I am going to share details about the datathon that means what is this datathon is all about what are the tasks that you need to solve if you are participating in this datathon the detail about the data set that you need to handle in this uh, in this datathon the competition guideline the evaluation criteria and finally I'll be talking about what is the prize money that you will get if you win this particular datathon so if you want to know detail about it Please stay tuned with this video till end and before starting the video as I always say don't forget to hit the like button uh, if you have liked this video and please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video you will get instant notification. Without any delay let's start into today's video. So let's first talk about the task that you need to solve if you are participating in this year's data center in ML. So this year candidates has to solve intent recognition task which is a turn based multi class classification problem. Intent recognition or intent detection is commonly treated as a classification task in the conversational system. So the competition focuses on multilingual intent recognition task using the massive resource package or massive data set which contains data from 50 languages, 18 domains and contains 60 intents. Now in this competition first a training data sets will be made publicly available using which the participant has to train their model. Then after a month, a new surprise data sets will be released, which will contain the few short training instances for this particular task. Now the participant has to validate their model using this new surprise data set, and that will actually evaluate their model performance on domain adaptation. And finally, at the end of the competition, a new test data sets will be released using which the participants model will be finally evaluated. Now I'll give you a brief idea about the data set that will be used for this competition. So as I, as I mentioned earlier, the name of the data set is massive. Uh, so it's a parallel data set which contains more than 1 million utterances from 50 different languages and they are annotated for different natural language understanding tasks like intent prediction and slot annotations. So these utterances, they span over 60 intent and there are 55 slots available. So I won't be going into the complex detail of this data set. So there is a GitHub link available for this data set and the link I'll be given in the description and I will recommend all of you who is willing to participate in this competition. Please go through that particular link and try to understand the data set well before participating in this competition. And also there is a separate playlist made by one of the organizers explaining the instructions and the you know different tasks well for participating in this competition that link also i'll be given in the description and i highly recommend you that if you are willing to participate please go through that that playlist also so that you you will have an idea about the instructions to follow now i'll be talking about the competition guideline uh, so there will be a google form that will be circulated through the web page of the datathon and through which the participant can register for this particular datathon and participants has to form a team of maximum team member count of three and one of them has to be a student or some member from an Indian university or Indian research lab. There is a discord group that has been formed for this particular datathon and we encourage all the participants to join that discord group. You will get all the latest update about the datathon through that group. You can post your doubt there in that group and you can engage with, with, with discussion among the teams also in that particular group. The link of that discord group I will be given in the description. You must check it out. Now for final evaluation, submission of code or implementation detail as well as a report is mandatory to be considered for, as a winner or for the prizes. And the organization committee will be taking the final call about who will be the winner and if there is any change in the evaluation criteria also as such that will be that call will be taken by the organization committee. Now I will talk about the evaluation criteria. So to be eligible for the prizes 
the participants or the participating team has to submit their code implementation detail and a one page report explaining their solution the format of that report will be made available in the web page after some time as i was mentioning before during the competition first the training data sets will be made available using which you have to train your model then after a month a new surprise data sets with few short instances will be released now participant has to evaluate or validate their model using this new surprise data sets and they can fine tune their model on a domain adaptation task using this new surprise data set and finally a test set will be released using which their model will be tested and finally evaluated highest performing matrix is not the only criteria to decide the winner team so if your if your model is giving the highest accuracy in the leaderboard that doesn't mean you will be getting the winner prize so here the teams will be judged based on the overall performance that means if there is any innovativeness of your solution or if there is any finding you are getting from your model or from your solution that also will be checked by the organizer team and the final call about the winner team as i said before also that will be taken by the judges and the organizing committee of indoml 2023 finally the prize money it's huge you can win up to 1 lakh rupees from this particular competition and there are multiple prizes among different categories that will be available so here i'll be given a screenshot about the winner teams from the last year datathon also and as you can see there are many teams who has won different prizes from different categories so it's a huge opportunity for you if you are a ml enthusiast you should participate in this competition to gain experience also at the same time you will be getting a huge amount of money from this particular competition yeah so now i will go through uh, you about the competition timeline the tentative timeline i will show you uh, so this is the web page uh, for this data then at the region ml 2023 and the competition is already up uh, so it opens on 9th august 2023 so today is 13th august so it's already up and the data set is already released in this coda lab uh, so this is the competition web page in coda lab so here you will get all the data sets and the detail about everything that i have just mentioned you the phase 1 is currently up and the next phase will be the surprise data sets and the final will be the uh, the final evaluation of your uh, model so every detail is given uh, here and now regarding timeline so this is the tentative timeline of this data then uh, so august 9th is the date when the data then opens and the data set is released so this is the uh, first timeline then uh, on on 1st september uh, the next you know surprise data sets will be released and uh, the kick up evolution started and the leaderboard will be updated based on this uh, surprise data set uh second week of september there is a you know q and a session like uh, ask me anything session so you will have an uh, you know opportunity to talk with the organizers and if you have any doubt you can ask it uh, in that session so the link and all will be coordinated with the participants after some time the next first october the test data set will be released a new data set will be released for the final evaluation so this is the test data set based on that your final model will be evaluated on 2nd of october you have to submit your code and a short report uh, for for the final submission and the top 5 team will be announced on november 2nd week and then december 1st week you have to you know uh, have a uh, presentation session with the top 5 team and finally on 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 the on the on the um, actual venue of the indoml 2023 that is de between december 24th to 23rd the team has to present their you know solution or or their presentations they have to present in the in the ml symposium and finally the winner will be announced so this is the tentative uh, you know kind of timeline for this particular data then and i will highly recommend you that you go through all the links like massive data set link is also here and coda lab link is there then as i was mentioning there is a separate playlist explaining the steps and instru uh, instruction for the participant that playlist link also is there so i will i'll be given all the link in the description also but at the same time i will i will recommend you that you go through this web page and have a an full idea about this data then uh, and then participate into it finally why you should participate in this data then so if you are a machine learning enthusiast and if you are a very early stage of your career to be a data scientist there are various reason for which you must participate in this data then first by participating in this data then you will have an flavor about how to deal with large scale textual data set then how to build a model end to end using training data how to validate it using a surprise validation data set and finally how to evaluate your model using a unseen test data set 
Also, you will get an idea about how to bring novelty while designing machine learning model, how to beat the baseline model and the competing model that is there in the leaderboard and that will be your first step into machine learning research. Secondly, if you are winning these competitions, you will be invited to attend InnoML 2023 where you have to present your solution in front of the leading machine learning researchers who will be attending this symposium and they are both from the industry and academia so you, you will get a chance to interact with them discuss with uh, with them about your uh, you know possible research direction that you are thinking and that will be a good collaboration or good network building which will be helpful for you in your coming days and finally the prize money of this competition is really really attractive so as i said before that you can win up to one lakh rupees if you are winning this particular competition or particular data then and there are prizes available on different categories uh, of for this particular data then so i'll highly recommend you that if you are ml enthusiast if you want to work on this kind of large scale ml problem and if you want to use a huge amount of money you must participate in this particular data then. so yeah that's it guys that's it about this video and that's it about this exciting data then that is coming up for indo ml 2023 so last three years uh, it was a successful uh, data then for us as a part of this indo ml and we have found a lot of people participated in this data then in the last three years and we hope this year also many people will come up and they will participate in this data then and also I, we hope that many people will register and they will come for the symposium which will be happening in physical mode at iit bombay between 21st to 23rd uh, december this year so we are looking forward to the symposium and as well as the data then and please let me know if you have any question or comment or query in the comment section so that i can answer them because i am also active part of this data then and i will i'll i'll you know request you that register as early as possible and start working uh, with the with the data then because time is limited so yeah that's it guys that's it about this video please share this video to many other people who are also interested in this data then and don't forget to hit the like button uh, if you like this video because that increase my reach and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when i upload a new video you will get instant notification that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye